Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Everything VoiceOver Podcast. The Everything VoiceOver Podcast is brought to you by The Voice Realm, where only professional voice actors are listed. Hey, I'm Justin D. Torres, and today we're going to talk about a seminar I did uh, with the uh, amazing legendary voiceover actor Pat Fraley and the awesome voiceover Jedi Master uh, Joan Baker. Uh, This was in New York City, and it was a few months back, and I've referred to it a couple of times in the podcast, but I figure I would dedicate an entire uh, podcast to it because it was such a great uh, experience, and also, uh, as uh, since the last uh, podcast was talking about all the the coaches, how they can how VO actors can take advantage of people, and that that coaches aren't invested in in uh, like early coaches, like a lot of coaches are not really invested in the actual um, you know success of their students. They're just just giving out information. Um, this is a, this is a good positive turn of that because I believe fully that Pat Fraley and Joan Baker really want to create an amazing voiceover talent out there. And, uh, and hopefully towards the end of this, uh, this, uh, podcast, you'll learn what it takes to be a good coach, but also what, uh, awesome things, uh, and, uh, that Pat Fraley does. And, uh, hopefully a recommendation that you should probably try out one of his classes when he comes to your town. And if you go to patfraley.com or just, just, uh, look up Pat Fraley, Fraley, P-A-T-F-R-A-L-E-Y and look him up on Google or, or Joan Baker, who's up here in New York. And she does a bunch of great, uh, voiceover classes and her, her name is spelled J-O-A-N-B-A-K-E-R. So if you're able to work with any one of the either of those two amazing talents, um, please do it because uh, they are amazing. And I can tell firsthand that they are amazing coaches because I learned a couple of things from them. And an old dog like me, uh, who's usually set in his ways, was very inspired after this particular seminar. It was called Go Big and Don't Go Home. Um, I could, I could be changing it a little bit there, but it was a pricey little venture. It was about a six hour, it was a whole day, a whole day, uh, thing with like an hour long break for food. And it was about 600, $700. And it's, it was, it was, it was pricey, but you know, he limited it to around eight to 10 people, which is great. I think that's cool. You know, you're not trying to get uh, as many people into a, a session as possible. And there was like this uh, this sense of a guarantee that you will be personally, um, you know, coached. And I was like, yes, thank you. Now, the reason why I got into Pat Fraley was back in the early days when I was first starting out, probably around the, ti- around, uh, the time that you guys are listening to this podcast uh, in your voiceover career, I was looking everywhere for information on the Internet about voiceover. And I found Pat Fraley. And Pat Fraley, uh, for those of you who don't know, he's the voice of Krang and a bunch of other Krang from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and a bunch of other uh, um, voices uh, from Tailspin and all these really cool cartoon voices. So he's a very distinctive, fun, cool voice. Very low, very deep, you know, old guard voiceover. And I saw his website and he had all these little uh, CDs slash, you know, workbooks about voiceover. And they had cartoons and jokes and audiobooks and how to audition, how to direct yourself. And I put in the money, and it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a couple hundred dollars. It might have even been like eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. And this was back in, uh, you know, early two thousand, about about ten, uh, fifteen years ago. And I got all of them, and it, uh, it was shipped in a big old box to me. And it had uh, the one of the books, one of the one of the CDs was signed, Pat Fraley. So I listened to all of them religiously. I thought they were hilarious, number one. They were funny. They were cool. They were awesome. They had little strategies like how you can make it sound like you're in a helicopter or something like that or or how how, how you could uh, sound like you're underwater or something like that. And, uh, and uh, there were all these little cool strategies for cartoons and and also with audiobooks. It was, it was very cool to to have him explain audiobooks to you. And I don't know if those courses are still available, but I got those and they got me pumped up, pumped up for the whole thing. The whole time I was trying to figure out how am I going to be able to meet this guy? Um, so, um, I heard from a friend, Lisa Flanagan, who I actually, uh, um, uh, interviewed on this podcast. Um, she had done his audiobook seminar 
And lo and behold, after she he had done the audiobook seminar, um, she had actually booked an agent, an audiobook agent, and now she's been, you know, nominated for audio awards and everything like that. And she's just a the, the a top notch audiobook, uh, um, you know, top notch. She's union now, and she's doing great. And it's so cool to see. Uh, and and I was like, oh my god, you you did Pat Fra- Fraley, you met him. And actually, when I first got her started in voiceover, I had lent her my Pat Fraley CDs because they were. Yeah, they were there was stuff that I loved. So, uh, yeah, I, I heard about him coming into town and I was like, I got to try and get to that. I want to I want to try and uh, at least take one class with this guy just so I can meet him. Plus, he's getting up there in age and I want to meet the guy. Um, so I did. So I finally booked it. And now uh, before I review the actual actual class itself and and, and it's more. It's not so much a review of like what happened in this class, just like a sense of what it what I got from it. Um, let me tell you the real genius of this. He taught this class with Joan Baker, and Joan Baker is like a coach, an instructor, a voiceover actor as well. And she's out in NYC, and she trains voiceover actors to be union actors. Now she has contacts in the industry, and that's what is her thing is. She wants to get successful, make successful uh, voiceover actors. Now, when I think of great instructors, I think of instructors that do stuff like that, that they that, that they have standards, that they have prerequisites, that they're not going to mold someone who who's just dipping their feet into it. They want someone who is committed to do it, and they want to, to get them to meet agents and meet other people, and they have people in mind that they can connect with, which is a very big rarity everywhere else. I mean, this can only really happen in L.A. and New York City. Uh, maybe, maybe San Francisco, but there's just not, there's, those, those are specifically the, 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 the type of coaches you should be looking for if you're trying to get into the big stream, mainstream, uh, uh, agent, uh, union bound voiceover. All right. Now would be a good time to say that the, uh, everything voiceover podcast is brought to you by the voice realm where only professional voice actors are listed. Now in the class itself, uh, go big and don't go home. Pat Fraley basically tries to get you to go beyond the script, improvise, immerse in the character, and be fearless with how you come out of the gate. You want to get them within the first two seconds, otherwise they're not going to care. And you also want to get them with something different, so you know how everyone else is going to do it. So if you put that little twist on it, and you improvise a little bit, uh, it's going to do awesome. Now, he utilized uh, comedic strip uh, scripts for all of the uh, voiceover there, and he had us pair up to be able to work off of each other, which is a kind of a different story because, uh, you know, I usually do auditions to myself. You know, I'm, I'm e-learning stuff, and, and, and it's hard to figure out how to make the same kind of feel of, uh, of, of talking to someone left, uh, talking to someone outside, Inside a inside a booth uh, versus trying to make something that's clearly for uh, just mass consumption to feel like it's talking to someone else. But when in actuality, true conversational uh, voiceover is supposed to sound like you're talking to a friend. And that's the kind of cool key thing that you can figure out when when you're when you're when when I was doing this, it's like, you know, you are talking to another person. You should be trying to gauge that you're talking to just a friend. Um. Now, uh, through the comedic strips, every, everyone got about maybe three to four times noted. Um, and, you know, they all got to get like a little bit of notes and do it over again, maybe two or three times. So you can see how he's trying to trigger a different thing in your mind to figure out how to get a better performance. Now, Joan Baker is one of those people that she, uh, according to Pat, and, and I witnessed it firsthand, she walks in, she just says a sentence or two to each person to try and get them to figure out, to, to click in what you want, what they want to get out of it. And she did that magically with a lot of people trying to figure out, you have to do it like this. Think that you're blaming this person for whatnot, trying to trying to figure out, uh, you know, you, you could care less about anything. Just throw off everything, you know? Stuff, little, little interesting... Um, interesting, uh, you know, one sentence phrases to try and get the, get the performance that she wants out of you. And that happens maybe three to four times, uh, you know, for each, for each script. So that's great. So you get an actual coaching, uh, situation with, you've got Pat on one side coaching you and then Joan coaching you on the other side. And it's two different sides of uh, the same coin, trying to get the same similar kind of cool, uh, performance out of these voiceover actors. Now, the true magic of a coach, I believe, is that they can inspire someone 
to use things they, they would have otherwise not used before. Now, would I, uh, you know, would I, for an e-learning, use, have used an improvisational line? No, no, not really. And to be honest, now that I'm talking about this now, I kind of went back into my original uh, cocoon of safety, and, and a lot of my auditions nowadays don't have the improv thing, and I need to think about it now and re-listen to some of the, the recordings of the Pat Fraley course and get back into that improv, because it's really just about having fun. And, inspire, and he inspired me to just have more fun with my auditions, and uh, as you watch uh, each person go up, you get you get to see how the the performances change and and how this person is directed that way, and that kind of inspires you to figure out okay, so if I did it that way, I, I could do it this way, and and by watching him coach other people, you realize how you would coach them, and that's what you're going to use to coach yourself, right? Right. Now, of course, with all this chaotic stuff happening. Um, and I, and I'm taking notes all day, but uh, the goal of this class is ever just to come away with something useful, a state of mind, a strategy, an inspiration, you know, something I can use and the improvisation thing works. The concept of, yeah, the first you got to get them in the first two seconds or else they're going to just move on to the next one. And that's crazy. And that's true. That's very true. And think about it that way. And next time you're doing auditions, you know, if you're, if every audition is a color blue and you're bright red. Uh, it's going to be a hard, you know, they may just choose you because, you know, at least you're doing something different. And especially if it's like 80 auditions, you know, your one might actually stand out. Now, the strats in this class, the st strategies in this class made me feel amazing. You know, I, I even booked a gig within two days using this particular strategy of going big, going big early, trying being, uh, you know, going with the storyline, making sure that you're not going big for no reason. You're going big because you it, it it inspires you. The improvisation, the first first thing you say, the the moment before, are you pissed off? You know, usually people are either angry or just pissed off, and you you know it usually starts with a negative because chances are we're trying to sell something positive, a, a solution to a problem, which is something else I gained from the the thing. But uh, you know, here's the kicker. You know, I wanted to, you know, after the class had ended, I wanted to ask specifically how, you know, where, how I can, how I can utilize them more, you know, uh, you know, in, in stuff that I do, the non-union, the e-learning, the narration, that kind of stuff and whatnot. And I asked Joan about it and she was like, you know, she said, she told me straight up, you know, I, I gear people toward the union route. I can't really help you for the non-union route. I don't know the agents there and, uh. And, you know, I, I'm more set for the union route. And that's cool, you know. And then I went over to Pat and he said something very similar. He was like, a, you know, I do things this way. It's more geared towards that. If you're coming to L.A., that might be something. If you're going in for the cartoon thing, I can, you know, that's that's helpful. But, uh, you know, this isn't, uh, you know, they aren't trying to work around my stuff. They're trying to, they offer a specific, a specific, uh, they want you to be, you know, you, they want you to want what they give, you know, you know, and that's the thing about, uh, and it made me realize when it comes to coaching and it comes to teachers, standards is what set sets great coaches apart. You know, it's not, it's not about how much money you have. Now I worked with uh, Dorian Elliott who would give me homework every week. She wanted to make sure that I was not only committed, but that I was committed outside of the hour or so that I was with her. And it's true. You know, she, she, she wanted, she had a very specific strategy to take on for everything. And she wanted me to know that's how you, you're going to do it. And that's cool. That's awesome. It's a, and, and Joan and Dorian have contacts in agencies. They want you to know we have contacts. There are people I want you to meet after we start coaching and we're going to get, we're going to start working with each other and we're going to work towards this particular goal. And at the end of it, we're going to introduce you to a couple of agents, not send you out to actors, actors access to meet them there. I'm going to, you're going to meet them there on my terms and I'm going to recommend you. If you, if you are, if you end up doing everything I need you to do to get better and then, uh, you know, hopefully you get onto an agency that happened. That was, that happened 110% with, with everything I worked with as with Dorian Elliott. It was amazing. 
And I'm sure, and at one point, maybe I will start pushing toward a union type thing atmosphere, and I may start utilizing Joan Baker uh, for coaching. But just right now, I just can't do it for the non-union. I need to, I need to have a steady paycheck, you know? Now, coaches' success stories are what you should be looking for. You want to, you want to coach, uh, Dorian does this. She, she talks all the time about how this, uh, this student of mine, uh, just booked this commercial. This student of mine just got represented here. This student of mine got that. They should be proud because that's what they push them in that direction and they got that. And the, what's even more important than coaches' success story is student success story. Students who say, Oh, thank you, Dorian. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Joan. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm booking these jobs now. I'm working as a, as a A, B, and C. And that's what uh, that's what I have to think. You don't see that very much in these other ones. You don't see like a person talking about how like this person, you know, uh, this person on it. They they aren't. No, <laughs> I know I just rambled insanely there, but Dorian, Pat Fraley, Joan Baker, they aren't advertising on Facebook. They aren't advertising on Craigslist. They're not putting a, their courses out on Course Horse. Everyone knows that these people are the pros of the industry. So they want pros to work with. They want people who are committed to work with, who want to work with it. It's, it's, they're not looking for beginners. You know, if you want to do the beginners courses, you take the online courses. You take the courses that are just a one-off uh, from, uh, from a random voiceover coach who just did voiceover. Those are the, the beginner, beginner one-offs. The committed people try and figure out how to work with the best. And... And the cool thing about Dorian Elliott is that she is a casting director. Joan Baker has connections. And Pat Fraley is just a genius. And it's cool to work with a guy who was on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and is awesome and is funny. Just hilarious. He is hilarious. You know, I couldn't, you know, you know, it's 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 not that it's a rarity. But there's a reason why Pat Fraley and Dorian Elliott and Joan Baker don't utilize the things that to try and get all fish you know it's almost like uh, solely by word of mouth do i know of these people or like i see the the pictures of them at award ceremonies and voiceover awards i see them talking giving talks at uh, or giving uh, giving presentations at all the voiceover conferences and it's like oh yes these guys are good and then on top of that i know people who have had success stories who have, were directly had their successes based on their the class that they had with them. So the strategy, so the class for the, the class is strategy in itself. Go big or go home. That's that's nothing new, but it is kind of cool. Ninety nine percent of all VO auditions are exactly the same. So try and set yourself apart. Try and make sure you have some kind of opinion, and whether it's a negative opinion or one thing that will be solved by this. Or, you know, don't be afraid to start with a growl or start with a, um, you know, a, hey, how's it going or whatever, you know, just to, just to, just to set you apart from the crowd. Now, another cool thing about the particular course is that since it's like individually coaching each individual person to try and get a specific thing out of them, you know, it's kind of gauged towards specific people. So if there's a newer person, they kind of, uh, try and get more, more things to get them to feel less scared of the microphone. Whereas someone like me, they try and just, you know, let me loose in different directions or pull me back in different directions or give me a clear motivation that I can just run with. And uh, it was, it was just a total blast. So if you ever get a chance to do a Pat Fraley, Pat Fraley class, if you're in LA, you're a lucky person who has the ability to see, to do uh, classes on a monthly basis with him. And it's so cool. Um, me, personally, I'm waiting for the audiobook one to come back to New York so I can go ahead and do this that one here, because this Go Big and Go Home was great. It was awesome, but I really want that audiobook one. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, especially in, in contrast to the last podcast where I talked about all the bad things, I wanted to make sure that there was some, there was, I showed you an option of a good coach, a good teaching uh, course, and, and, and three good teachers, that are worth your time, worth your money, if you are committed. That's here's the thing is if you are committed. Now these are these are people who just are working on the craft of voiceover, performance, auditioning, those things. They're not going to teach you how to edit. They're not going to teach you how to do all those other things. Um, they're just trying to work on the actual how to do voiceover well, and that's good, and that's really good. 
So uh, if you ever get a chance to work with Pat Fraley or Joan Baker, please do it. But make sure you are committed because, uh, you know, it does cost a pretty penny, but it is worth it in the long run because you could do five bad coaches five days a week. It would not be worth it would not be worth it to do just one coaching session with one of these awesome, awesome, uh, awesome teachers. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. This has been the Everything VoiceOver Podcast. The Everything VoiceOver Podcast is brought to you by the Voice Realm, where only professional voice actors are listed. My name is Justin D. Torres. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, go ahead and head on, on over to everythingvoiceover.com. Check us out there. We did a bunch of videos about the VO pay-to-play site shootout, so check those out. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Have a great night.